HelloFresh has been a game changer in the Ellis household for the past couple of months. They go from meal planning to shopping and prepping so I can really just focus on a happier, healthier family and not tackling lines in the supermarket. All family lunches and dinners are now fuss-free and these three picky Ellis boy eaters are definitely kid-tested and family approved. All meals come together in 30 minutes max, call for less than two pots and pans, and require minimal cleanup, which my husband definitely appreciates. Yeah, I'm not much of a cook. But I definitely appreciate the fast cleanup because I clean up all day. But it's important for you guys to know if you're budget conscious like me, HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. Yep, and you can enjoy fun new features like HelloFresh's dinner to lunch, 20-minute meals, and one-pot wonders. Always something new. Yeah, you always have the new stuff. Thanks, HelloFresh. If there's one thing I have to admit about HelloFresh being a picky eater myself, it's the fact that they always have something new. So if you want to get started, get started now with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Just go to HelloFresh.com and enter the promo code ELLISIS80. Get with it. America's number one meal kit. And saving you lots of money. Kiss the chef. Go ahead. Always, baby. Thank you. Always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's about that time guys so my hair is in transition right now it's kind of sort of growing out but not so I kind of sort of have like a short bob coming in but not so I had a couple tracks put in in the front hair to give me a little bit of body and life and they got to come out now so who better to take it out then dun, 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 dun. the weave extractor connoisseur Thanks, what baby. I do, guys. Thanks. I put on ESPN and mm -hmm. I take out weaves. Exactly. You know, balance. It's all about balance. Can you believe this? Just make sure that you, you know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> make sure you only cutting the thread, though, all right? I got you. Check this out. Check this out. Where we at? Where we at? All right. Make sure you good. Do I got to get your reading glasses? Got a little frontal closure. Do I got to get your reading glasses? Now, this is easy. Who put this in here? This one was Jan Janelle. Janelle. Janelle Seely Smith. She made it very simple for me. My girl. Made yes. it very simple. Super easy. You see that? You see that? So, um. You see that? Yeah. You can't get the real hair in here. You see that? Make sure you. And once I get one thread, all I gotta do is pull it out. So I don't gotta keep doing too all much right now. I got, I got a plan. You know what I'm saying? I got a plan. Plan of action. Yes, I gotta have a plan of action. For the weave removal. I appreciate you. Yes. Bang. So, yeah. So, every now and again, I'll put a little track or two Bang. just to give me a little extra body in the front. Because you know I like the body. Because he <laughs> likes the body. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. And also to remember that postpartum hair loss um, after Kaz. I know it's been a little over a year, but my hair is starting to finally catch up again. That's why I cut it short to begin with. So, we can all come together. I had postpartum hair loss, too. After marriage. Shut up. <laughs> Hey Max Bill, head just be falling out. But your joint ain't come back though. But it ain't weave. Did I'm gonna get me a back? weave too. I'm gonna get me a man weave. Get it? They have a lot of those now. I ain't get no man weave. I'm going bald. Got a lot Yo, of those now. once it get to the point where I can't cut the low low Caesar, I'm straight baldy, shiny baldy. Mm -hmm. Ain't no shame in my game. I can still grow a full beard, so yeah, I'm good. And you, you know cute, I mean? cute too. Here or no here. Don't try to butter me up after you, you made cute, me go cute. bald. You see that? She's trying to butter me up. <laughs> and you cute, cute. Oh, that's all it. That's that's it right there. That's it. Yeah, it's like I think no, it's, it's like three couple, tracks. Uh, it is yeah. A mm -hmm. Can you take my braids band. out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Take my braids out. Do what you gotta do. The foolery. Hey, hey, get it. Hey. While in line at the sneaker store. Mm, mm. <laughs> I need to dig up my old Kango. I got a Kango at home somewhere. I need to dig it up. Good Friday to you all. Yes. It's a good Friday. Good Friday. Yeah. 
to all my believers and non-believers alike, it's still a good Friday. It is a good Friday. We woke up yes. this morning, you know? Yes. In our sound mind. And body. Well, I don't know if my mind is sound all the time, but you know, I can fake it till I make it. You'll be about 60% um, sound mind. Yeah, about 60%. Sounds about right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Did get some good sleep last night, though, because the kids are with my mom and dad, so we got to sleep in in. Why else did you get some good sleep? Shut up. Ahem. <coughs> Pat myself on the back. Sidebar, shout out to uh, Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace. You see my hat? I love how my sister thought that I got a hat with the vowel on it. <laughs> I was like, no. She's like, y'all are doing too much now, okay, Kate? I get that you love your husband and all. We get it. Black love, yada, yada, yada. No. But why is the vowel on your hat? I was like, all, it's not the vowel. All light-skinned people with beards don't look alike. That's why I cut my it's beard. It's nip. So I got to be different. You know? Mm. So, anywho. <laughs> I had to throw that out there real quick in case y'all thought that was the case. Um, but who would be wrong if you had a hat with me on it anyway? I mean, nothing. I stand for my man. If I didn't, who else would? Exactly. I mean, I'm sure some people would, but you know. There's people that got tattoos that of their life. significant other on their forehead. True. True. You know what I'm saying? Hey, to each his own. Exactly. You know? That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so today we are, we've been talking about schools for Cairo. Um, it's about that time. We started yes. Jackson in a school when he was two and a half. Roe's a little bit over two and a half at this point. Um, finally has the potty situation squared away, I'd say about 90%. Um, and he's super proud of himself. I peeped on the toilet. You peeped on the toilet, I yeah. I on the toilet outside. I'm, I'm proud of you going to the bathroom because it was touch and go for a minute. Like, you were starting to go into your college fund. No, Cass. No, not Cass. Cass can't get it yet. Them pampers cost $5 a pamper, bro. And you be going to the bathroom eight, nine times a day. That's about six hundred dollars a month you spending. Yeah, you spend six hundred dollars a month in Pampers. That's seventy two hundred dollars a year in Pampers. No, no, I'm not getting you no hundred dollar Pampers. Month of Pampers. No, hundred dollars of Pampers like a Louis Vuitton Pampers. You're not getting no Louis Vuitton Pampers, bro. You ain't Blue Ivy. Only Blue Ivy got Louis Vuitton Pampers. You got the hookup. You just learn how to use the bat. We're proud of him and every chance we get, you know, it's a celebration. Um, so that being said, being in school is normally a great way to reinforce the potty. And um, his eating habits have been very, very off, hit or miss lately. So sometimes when they're around kids their age and they're exposed yeah. to different foods and all the kids are eating it, we're hoping that that will um, kind of, you know, rub off on him. Um, do you have the heat on in here? I don't have the heat. It's hot. You just, you just talking. It's a hot good Friday. You just talking. It is hot. It's hot. Um, it's might nice. be a it's breath too. But uh, yeah. My, my so... breath. I see how you try to slide that in there. You ain't low. <laughs> so um, you know we've been debating about moving, guys. That's no secret. We're, we're really not just... debating. We're moving. We just we're don't moving. know exactly We just don't know where. where. I know. We're debating about where to live. Um, and we're just, just so on the fence with things. But we know that when we do decide to move, it has to be in an area where there's good schools. Um, that's number one and that's whether we're in staying in New York whether we go to California whether we go to Atlanta Whether we go to Texas like it has to be where good schools are um, and that's always a struggle, you know And then the summertime is coming up um, In the summer I used to go to like day camps um, And then spend time going on vacation with my family um, What did you do in the summertime? You my parents sent our asses away We, oh, yeah, went, we used away, to go away. to Tennessee School was done June 25th. Mm -hmm. We was on the road June 26th, 13-hour mm -hmm. drive to Morristown, Tennessee to stay with my grandparents. They have two yeah. acres and a home down there with me, Devon, my brother, my sister, Brian and Tori, and we were Devon's down there. Devon's his cousin. Yeah, Devon's yeah. my cousin. And we would be down there until the day before school started. My parents wanted us out of Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. It was cost effective because my grandparents ain't charged them nothing. <laughs> they should have um, for all them damn kids. Right. I'd have been like, bruh, at least give me a food stipend or something. Well, I mean, you know, yeah. grandparents love keeping your kids. They you do. Know, they love keeping the grandkids, do. you know. And your, yeah. your mother don't charge us. She sure don't. You know what I'm saying? No, nope, so. she I wish I, I, sometimes I even try to be like, mom, I'll send groceries to the house or my father. And he'd be like, no, I grocery shop for the kids yo, already. I know they're coming. I don't know so. how they got rid of us for eight weeks. Like, I would be gone if I didn't have my kids for a full yeah. eight weeks. Like, that, that, yeah. That's hard, Did yo. that make you question if your parents really, like, loved y'all, loved y'all? 
Like they loved you, of course, but did they love you, love you to send you away? No, nah, there, there was plenty of nights where I was just like, like man, these niggas is fat. <laughs> they just got rid of us, man. They just let y'all go. But the thing is, I get it though. Like our parents lived a completely different lifestyle than we live. Like mm -hmm. our parents, both both my parents work nine to five. Mm -hmm. So throughout the day from nine to five, if you have nobody to watch your kids, that's no, expensive when you have three kids. Absolutely. Plus, it's a different type of rest situation. Right. And who better to you watch know? your children than your own parents? Like. Facts. Facts. Hello. That's the only way we can do what we do. You know what I mean? So, so now um, we're trying to figure out yeah. where we're going to live with these boys. And mm -hmm. the school system's all over, man. It's, it's, it's just tough to navigate, man, between be, private school, public school, Montessori school, charter, um, school. charter schools, home school. Home school, because I've definitely debated that. I'm like, maybe I should just take my children around the world and let the world be their book. Yes, we, you we know, talked about that. I but then you got you to gotta focus on socializing. The kids need to socialize. So. Absolutely, that too. We're going to take some time and think about it, people. Then again, I don't know how much socializing I want them to do because we had that whole Santa situation and somebody ruined it for my son. Yo, before you send your kid to school, make sure you meet with every parent about appropriate and inappropriate conversations during school hours. Jackson walking in the house is going to ask me if Santa Claus is real or fake because all the kids in his class said that he's fake. So now I'm stuck because I'm not about to lie to my son. So I had a conversation with myself. I'm like, DeVal, he's eight. You found out at eight. Tell him the truth. He can handle it. He a Ellis. So I tell him the truth, and he lost it. What? What you mean? So you had me writing letters to fake people and shit? Who was I on the phone with last year telling him I want a bike? Whose lap did you have me on in the mall telling my hopes and dreams? I was like, yo, calm down. He was like, nah, son. You had me looking like a sucker at King's Plaza. I was like, whoa, hold up. First of all, we not going to do that. Bring your tone down and wipe the snot from your upper lip. Because I ain't talking to nobody who got snot pulled up at their upper lip. So he calmed down, and I had to man up on him. And I was like, listen, I understand that Santa Claus is fake, and you just found out, but let's be clear. I ain't never take you to no more. That was your mother. Um, I could snuff home, girl, but I won't. <laughs> Um, but anyway, <laughs> he's eight. He had to learn about it, so I he guess. found out. He found out on day time, not out. I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are, guys. Uh, right now, we're off to pick up the kids for some much-needed family time, just to chill with them, you know, because it's about to turn up. Our schedule is about to turn up, and we're about to be doing a ton of traveling. We have Broccoli City. We have Mom Friends. We have some St. Jude work. We have uh abff essence fest there's like a bunch of things it is the season it is the season so we're trying to get in as much time with the kids as possible yeah so let's go get them let's go get my babies yo man go finish playing man y'all ain't come to the park to eat let your mother eat <laughs> Take you don't know that my meals are ever my meals by myself ever it's all good right hey that's my burger what are you doing as long as the babies eat don't pick it's, it's done it's done is there's more burgers in it. There's more burgers in it. Go get another one. Okay. What do you got? Uh, Daddy. What do you got, Cass? Daddy's red. Cass is eating red. He got a uh, yes. granola bar. Let me see what you got. You got where you get a granola bar from? Only your mother would carry granola bars to the park. Mm. We get candy to the park. <laughs> Run all that sugar off. Stop, Cairo. Get up. Go finish playing. We out of here in five more minutes. The sun's going down, bro. Come on. Go finish playing. It was last lap. Go finish playing. I'll take you in the car now. Always got something smart to say. Dad hack. Take your kids to the park. Make them get tired. See that? We got all our mom and dad snacks here. All the unhealthy stuff you're not supposed to eat. Yep. These are Kay's chips right here. They are mine. All the Kay's chips. I, I didn't have any chips. All right? a lot. Okay. Powdered donuts. You see that? Powdered donuts. Fudge cake? No, what fudge cake you got? No, you got like oh, here comes the greedy. Cake. Here comes the greedy one. Look at the greedy. He, Open. He the only one that come to the He'd park like, just to eat. Peace. I'm bite. You want bite? <laughs> you want peas? Yeah. <laughs> you want peas here? That's all he want to do. He come here just to eat. Every every day is a picnic for Cass. <laughs> He's our mm -hmm. best ear, yes. I will say, of the three boys. Cash Jackson and Cairo, them. they they be getting it. Mm -hmm. They only come for the candy like they dare. I got a sweet tooth. I got a bad sweet tooth. But it's cool, though. You know? <laughs> gotta right. have a sweet tooth. I got a sweet wife. <laughs> gotta have a sweet tooth but a sweet wife. <laughs> Here it is. Y'all tired yet? Let's go. Say. Get tired.
I, go I, home, go to go to bed. Everybody put everybody to I bed, 7 o'clock. I can't foresee ever leaving, like, Brooklyn or New York. Because do they have ox, like, all over the country? They don't have ox all over the country, no. Like, what am I going to do when I want my sandwich? My honey turkey, provolone, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, oil, vinegar, hold the salt, pepper. Manhood sandwich. Mustard. That's it. Mustard. Spicy said, mustard, and mustard and mayo. Twice. Yeah. That's how much you like mustard. Yeah. We went to Atlanta. Black. They ain't got ox in Atlanta. Uh uh. Like, y'all don't got corner stores? Y'all wildin'. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to figure it out. We gonna have to figure it out. When I was playing ball, people used to ask me all the time, like, how you get so fast? This is the key to, to getting faster. Go outside. Just be in the park. Look at this. You see all of this training? It's just training. You see? Cairo's working on upper body strength, climbing up the slide, his balance, toughness for when you fall. Fall, get your ass back up. That's all it is. Be out. Exactly. Jackson did it. He fell, right? Let me see you, Jackson. Let me see you. Let me see your speed. Okay. Just take the kids outside, man. Let them run that energy out. Get them off the video games, off the YouTube, unless y'all watching us. Off the Instagram, unless you're watching us. There you go. There you go. Help your brother out. Nothing like building a bond, like falling together and picking each other back up. Got a little cool, so Kay took Kaz in the car, you see. They in the car chilling. Now I got these two. I'm going to let them run until they stop. Go ahead, boys. Do your thing. Get them kids outside, man. Get them outside. Let them run. Get that energy out. Go, Jax. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Let me see the upper body strength. Let me see it. Let me see it. Get up there. There we go, Cairo. Get up there. Get up there, Jax. Oh, you're right there. Don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, Jackson fell. Cairo, are you going to finish? Cairo completes the task. Yeah! Hey, 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 go Cairo, go Cairo, go Cairo, go Cairo. Yeah. <laughs>40 pounds since then. Yo, be careful, y'all. I'm washing knives. I don't want... Lightly, okay? I ain't got no... I don't right. want no problems. Good. I don't want no problems. All right. Oh, but it still fits. See, I just had to wear it a little high because I'm smallest around my rib cage. So now it's just like a support for the boobs. Like, no? You look fine. But you can't wear that all day. You want me to cut it out? Want me to cut you out? I'll cut you out. You can't... Don't cut my skirt, Deval. Don't disrespect my high school skirt. I'm not... I can still fit it, though. That's the point. That's the point. Yes, you, you can fit it. You can fit it. Let me go. I know when I'm not wanted. Thank you. I'm just trying to give solutions. I like to bring solutions. You know what I mean? Boom! I didn't even look. Talk about a sign from God. I could oil you up. I Seriously? Could oil, and it slide it right off. Look, we got the virgin extrovert. She's not a virgin, but extra. All right, we won't use that one because that's a lie. Um, we got grapeseed oil. What is grapeseed oil? I'm trying to eat healthy. That's why this could fit because I'm losing the weight. Give me my grapeseed oil. She got mad at me. I don't know, dude. I, you know what? I got it. Let's watch this. I could buddy you up. I could buddy you up right around there. Yo, leave. Goodbye, Deval. And put my butter back. That's so funny. Put it back. All right, I know when I'm not wanted. I'll get it off when I'm ready to get it off. Maybe I want to keep it on just so I feel like high school days again. I'm going to start stepping. All right, good. Man, board boosters. 
all I was trying to do was come with solutions. Now she got an attitude with me. Nobody wants your solutions now. We'll have a seat.